Hi Aquarius, how are you guys doing? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I am Alexandra, also known as Karma, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to click on this video. I hope you guys are doing well. If you are new here, please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. And if you are returning, thank you so much for your continued support. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July, 2020. Um, if you guys are interested uh, in a personal reading, if this reading resonates with you, all the information will be below in the description box. It will give you links to my Etsy as well as my personal website. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, for newbies, I am using several different decks. As I am saying my prayer, I will be shuffling through each deck individually. If I pause during my prayer, please know that it's because I'm placing my intentions on the cards. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Father God, Holy Spirit, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in July 2020. I ask that these messages provide clarity and understanding. Guidance and healing. as well as a higher perspective and knowledge on what patterns, cycles, and soul cycles Aquarius may currently be going through, learning from, experiencing, and needing to release, let go, and heal from. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, in all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, let's take a look here. Holy Spirit, whoa, Holy Spirit. What is the overall spiritual message of guidance for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, July 2020? Overall spiritual guidance <clears throat> for July 2020. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, let's take a look. I'm going to do two top and bottom, okay? So one and two. We have top, we have bottom. Let's see what we have for you, Aquarius. Second Peter 1, 2. Grace and peace be yours in abundance. On the back, you have Proverbs 18, 10. The name of the Lord is a strong fortress. The godly run to him and are safe. You also have Galatians 6, 9. Let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing. And on the back, we have Deuteronomy 31, 6. Be strong and of good courage. For the Lord your God, he is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Okay, Aquarius, here's what I'm getting. There's a situation that has either already begun and is taking place or will be taking place in July um, where you're going to have a lot of doubts, a lot of second guessing. You're going to wonder why do you continue to um, be a giver? Okay, that's what I'm feeling here. Why do you continue to allow yourself um, to be put in situations where you feel as though you are giving, 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 and not getting anything in return. Please know that what Spirit is saying, and I want to flip this over, is don't stop being good. Don't get tired of doing good and being good, even to those who may be doing wrong to you, okay? Because the, the blessing, the reward of abundance is yours, and God is asking you to rely on his strength and his wisdom and his understanding to make it through this situation in the month of July. All right, let's go ahead and see what we have in your love life. Holy Spirit, what is the current energy 
in a love connection surrounding Aquarius and their person. July 2020. Let's see what those were. Make the effort and stay optimistic. Okay. So spirit is guiding you to put in the work, continue to work on this and focus on your connection with your person and to infuse it with a lot of positive um, outlooks, right? A lot of positive uh, energy here. No matter what the situation looks like, it's very important for you to stay upbeat, all right? Holy Spirit, what is the energy in a love connection between Aquarius and their person, July 2020? Let's see what we got here. Overall energy on the bottom, how funny, stay optimistic about your love life. Um, this says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So again, things may look like they're crumbling or falling apart um, on the outside this month in July. And Spirit is saying, please stay optimistic. You don't know what's going on in the background, okay? You have religious factors. Pay attention to the red flags. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. And soulmate. All right. So what I'm getting here is, first off, <clears throat> your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. This is a person, and of course, because we also have soulmate down here, this is a person with whom you have a very deep spiritual connection with, okay? I feel like a lot of your conversations are revolving around spirituality, okay? Your beliefs, what you're learning. Um, both of you could be going through an awakening, okay? Or have experienced awakenings, okay? You guys could also be of uh, different cultures, different race. I'm getting that as well, okay? But this person is your soulmate. We have pay attention to the red flags and heart-to-heart -heart conversations. There are signs, okay, that, or and it doesn't even have to be a sign, but there are thoughts that are raising questions within, okay? And they're causing you to doubt. This is what I was talking about earlier here. Um, with the first cards. You are going to uh, run into a situation this month that is going to look very seedy, okay? You're going to double think it. You're not going to think that it's safe, but what Spirit is telling you here is to pay attention during that time because a lot of times red flags may just be a thought that we created out of fear, meaning it's an illusion, it's not real, it's not actually the reality of the situation. It's very important for you and your person this month to have a heart-to-heart, -heart, vulnerable, emotional conversation where truth is expressed, okay? Really communicating your feelings, communicating what you expect out of a relationship or what it is that you are looking for, forgive me, as well as setting boundaries, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at your person's energy here. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, what is this person's current feelings in July 2020 towards Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is this person's feelings towards Aquarius and their relationship July 2020? Their current feelings towards you and the relationship. Ooh. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> How funny. Strength. Leo energy. Okay. So strength is going to go in with heart-to-heart -heart conversation. <clears throat> this is addressing your fears. Okay. Addressing anxiety. Addressing those red flags. Um, truthfully, honestly, peacefully, okay, you've gained the strength um, and they, they are feeling as though they are ready to control their inner beast and speak their truth. They have something that they want to express to you. They have something, it, it is positive, okay? The strength card is very positive because it speaks of growth. Again, I do feel that both of you are currently going through some type of awakening here, okay? You have the Queen of Swords, there we go with Aquarius, and Justice. So you could be dealing with a Leo or a Libra, okay? 
There could be legal issues involved, some type of documentation, paperwork, custody, okay? But what I'm getting overall, Aquarius, this person wants to have a conversation and talk about bringing in balance, okay? They wanna make things right. Could be dealing with um, a Libra, another Aquarius or a Gemini as well. Um, I feel like this person is a little bit concerned about speaking their truth to you only because sometimes you can come off very reserved, which in their perception is cold or distant, okay? Um, but they're wanting to, to bring in some truth and they're wanting to shed some light on a few situations. They're wanting to openly discuss this connection and, and your feelings towards each other and they're wanting to bring balance. Let's see what their inner thoughts are. Holy Spirit, what is this person's deep inner thoughts and feelings towards Aquarius? July 2020, what is this person's deep inner thoughts and feelings towards Aquarius and their relationship? July 2020. If you hear my children, please don't mind. All right, let's see here. Overall energy of their inner thoughts, bottom of the deck, wheel of fortune. All right. They definitely uh, feel as though this connection is faded, okay? Things are moving. They're waiting for the perfect time. I feel as though they're being very patient, but things are moving forward, okay? They, I feel also that this person recognizes some type of cycle or pattern that you guys have, have fa fallen through or gone through, and they're, again, wanting to rectify that. Um, they're waiting for that perfect time, okay? King of Cups could be dealing with a water sign as well. Wow, and the Page of Cups. This person is in love with you, okay? Their inner feelings towards you are very sure, very deeply in love, okay? Um, I have the Two of Cups here as well, which is soulmates. They're very excited about this relationship with you. You bring them a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. They feel very vibrant, playful, okay, flirtatious when they are with you. They want to make an offer, okay? That's going to go back up here with this Queen of Swords and Justice. Um, they know that there's some type of talk that needs to be had. They really want to infuse it with love and moving forward in a positive direction, okay, where you two can build with each other. All right. Holy Spirit, what does this person feel the issue is in the connection with Aquarius? What does this person feel the issue is in the connection, oops, with Aquarius? does this person feel the issue is? <clears throat> Forgive me. All right, let's see. What do they feel the issue is? Bottom of the deck, Knight of Pentacles is the overall energy for the issue. Okay, so this is something was taking too long. An offer or a commitment, okay? Six of Wands, Eight of Cups. Okay. So the issue here is they feel like it's taking too long for you guys to reach the level of commitment that they know this relationship can and should be. Okay. I feel that you guys may have broken up and gotten back together before in the past. Okay. Or you guys have had you know, instances where you stopped communicating. Um, and you guys have been trying to really build a strong foundation for this relationship, but it keeps turning up empty. You don't quite make it past that hump. And they feel that the issue here is you guys separate before you can get to that strong foundation, before you guys can start really building the walls of this connection, okay? Holy Spirit. How does this person want to solve this issue with Aquarius? How does this person want to solve this issue with Aquarius? How do they want to solve this issue? All right, let's 
see how they want to solve. Six of Swords on the bottom. Okay, they want to come back. They want to make their move towards you. You guys have done the back and forth. There is some type of separation between the two of you now. You have the Three of Wands and the Two of Wands. Yeah, again, this is tying into the Wheel of Fortune. They are planning. They're waiting for the right time. Um, they've thought about their options. They've thought about which direction they can go. They want to move towards you and bring healing and balance into this connection. Um, they feel that, what I'm getting here is they feel that you are the person that fills this void. They're, it's almost like you guys keep splitting, but this person can't figure out like, you know, why. Even if there was an, a, uh, an incident or a situation, still inside this person is like, why do we keep doing this? Like we need to be together. This is my person, okay? That is the energy that I'm getting with their, their cards here. Let's take a look at their true intentions. Okay. Holy Spirit, what is this person's true intentions with Aquarius and this relationship? What is this person's true intentions with Aquarius and this relationship? All right, let's see here. Overall energy, bottom of the deck. Five of cups. There's sadness, okay? There is remorse here. Um, this is about something that happened in the past between the two of you. They were very heartbroken, okay? And look at, there you are underneath. They're very hopeful and wanting to heal, like I said, and bring balance. Queen of pentacles. Ten of wands, okay? Queen of pentacles, uh, for me is representing you, even if you are a male. This is somebody that they see themselves building a life with. Their true intentions are to bring in a level of uh, nurturing, okay? Providing, being there, being somebody who is stable in your life, um, somebody that you can rely on, okay? And they're wanting to pick back up and move forward. They want to give this a second chance. They don't want this to just end. Um, I do feel like this person is, is really at the precipice here of making their grand entrance and communicating with you or relaying the message of wanting to start over. All right. Holy Spirit, what is the probable outcome between this person and Aquarius? What is the probable outcome between this person and Aquarius? July 2020. See. bottom of the deck the moon that's pisces energy okay so again getting in tune with some emotions here expressing themselves okay being vulnerable we saw that here with the strength card they're wanting to clear up any confusion anything that you feel that may have been hidden or deceptive they want to clarify that they want to bring it up judgment like i said they want to speak the truth and the Seven of Cups, yeah. They they wanna clear away any confusion, okay? Um, they're very overwhelmed, but there is going to, the outcome is there will be some type of resurrection between the two of you, and it will be a conversation that needs to be had or will be had uh, because there is a lot of confusion. There's a lot of things up in the air between the two of you. And I am getting the energy that neither one of you truly want this to end you are hopeful that you guys can take this to the next level okay um and, and kind of get past this hump of where things just kept getting stagnant and you guys would part ways all right so let's take a look at your energy quick clear this up before we close out we're going to take a look at your energy we won't do the full i usually just do the full for the partner's energy but i'm going to touch on yours as well so let's take a look here, Holy Spirit. What is Aquarius's current feelings? What's Aquarius' current feelings towards this person and their connection? July 2020. Aquarius' current feelings towards this person and their connection. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Pentacles. All right. 
So you're in this energy right now of independence, okay? Um, and I feel like you are watching this person, you're, you're watching them gain their independence as well. Both of you could be very focused on some self-healing, building, career, setting up your individual um, foundations, okay? We, wow, Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Cups. You're being very patient. I do feel like you guys are separated right now. You don't really want to be separated. Um, but you are deep in thought about this connection. Should I wait? Should I go back? Here are the things that have happened in the past. Do I want to continue in this connection? I feel like you do because you're being patient and you're still waiting. You're wanting specific cycles and things to dissipate before you move forward. You want to know that you guys have healed and are releasing uh, past issues, all right? Holy Spirit, what does Aquarius feel the issue is between this person and their connection? What does Aquarius feel the issue is July 20th? All right, let's take a look. Ten of Wands, okay? The issue for you is the repetitiveness of ending and picking back up. You're like, it's the same thing. Why do we keep doing this? Seven of Wands, Page of Pentacles. The issue here is somebody keeps crossing boundaries. You keep feeling like you need to put your foot down and state your case and you're wanting, you're wanting something new. You're like, it's the same old, same old, right? We go through this situation of somebody's upset, somebody's feeling defensive, and then they come in very sheepish, sheepishly with an apology, okay? Um, I feel like in the past there was a situation that maybe you were unaware of, okay? And you kind of heard about it through the grapevine and it was like, hey, wait a minute, but this person kind of put up a fight um, in the sense of they were very defensive, they wouldn't really open up, they would only give you a little bit of information. And the issue for you is I am not picking up and moving forward with you until I know that this type of behavior has been deaded, is ended. We're not going to do that again. All right. Let's see how you want to solve this issue. Holy Spirit, how does Aquarius want to solve this issue with their person? How does Aquarius want to solve this issue with their person? Let's see here, bottom of the deck, the sun. Wow, you want the light, you want the truth to be spoken, you want to move forward in a very positive direction, okay, with this person. You, it's almost like you know that once they release this, this information that they've been keeping within, you know how freeing it's going to be for both of you. Yep, two of swords, eight of wands. It's exactly like I said. You're wanting this closed off, no communication to open back up. So you want to solve this issue by having a very truthful conversation, okay? Eight of Wands happens quick, okay? And it comes in sudden and fast. Um, and this is having to do with solving the situation where the communication was off balance. Somebody was unable to open up, okay? Um, and you know that the way to solve and heal this is by living in your truth and allowing this person the opportunity to live in their truth as well. All right. Holy Spirit, what is the probable outcome between Aquarius and this person and their connection? What is the probable outcome between Aquarius and this person and their connection July 2020? Let's take a look here. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Swords. All right, so something happening quick, okay? A message coming in very fast, very sudden. Wow, could be dealing with the Gemini lover's energy here and the High Priestess. This is communication and clarity, okay? This is a new beginning. Um, I feel like you guys will be starting over and again, where you felt like something was hidden or somebody needed to express something that they've been keeping within. 
I feel both of you have gone through an awakening, okay? And there's a lot of clarity and a lot of um, enlightening conversation coming your way. This person has a lot to say. Um, I do feel like this conversation is going to be more about emotions, okay? And how they truly feel. Um, and I also feel like this is gonna give you a platform and an opportunity to express how you feel. Um, and really bringing all the issues to light here because both of you want this new beginning and both of you do want to start over. All right, Aquarius, thank you so much for tuning in. If you are interested in a personal reading, please check out the links below in the description box and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.